I've never seen that brand sell for so much. That is incredible. Oh my goodness. Wow. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, it is time for Share Your Best March Bolos. <laughs> blooper at the beginning. Share your best March bolos. These items were shared by Bolo Buddies Facebook members. This is my uh, post. It says share a sold link or a screenshot with an item number. And right now, share your best April bolo is up. So if you guys would like to share and be featured in a video just like this, you can go and share your bolo in the Facebook group. The link is down below under my link tree. All right, so let's get started with the first bolo. And the first one is a clearance item. It says, just a clearance bolo. Got these at Walmart for a dollar each, sold for 35. Could have done 10 each, but I like to give deals. I don't think they are discontinued. So um, he's saying he could have probably gotten 40 for these, but he went ahead and did the $35 and free shipping on those. So a lot of times you can go into Walmart and different places. There's all kinds of videos out there that talk about getting items on clearing, clearance and flipping them for a profit. The next item is this wallpaper border, a lot of seven, five yards each pattern. And then it's got the pattern number, Moose Bear Aztec. And this sold on um, Mercari. And there it is, pretty cool um, wallpaper border. Purchased at the Goodwill in Ohio when these all had half price colored stickers on them. I paid $5.97 for all of them and sold them for $47.78 buyer paid shipping. These were purchased in September uh, 2023. So they did take a while to sell. Jiffy Thrifty on Mercari, Poshmark, eBay, and Depop. Thanks, Courtney. All right. Wallpaper border. Would you have walked past it or would you have picked it up? Now, she said September 2023. I don't think that's that bad. Uh, looks like it sold March 14th of 2024, but it looks like it was posted here on March 1st of 24. So maybe she didn't bring it over to Mercari until uh, March 1st. So Mercari is a great platform. They did just restructure all their fees. So there are no selling fees for Mercari now. Um, all of those fees come out of the buyer's purchase. So mixed feelings on this. I think it's going to be fine. I say get on Mercari and get selling. Is it going to change things? I don't know. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. Throw those comments down there. If you want to get on Mercari and you want to be a seller, I do have a referral link down there. In the description, you will get $10 to shop when you join with that and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And I also get credit to shop when you guys use that link. So I appreciate you guys using my referral and affiliate links down below. All right, let's go on to the next one. Thomas Collector's Edition Radio. It's vintage. And it says, this also sold on Mercari. Bought it at the Goodwill for $6.99 and sold for $45 plus shipping. There you go. It is a vintage radio. All right, let's do the next one here. This one sold on Poshmark. I also have a referral link down below for Poshmark. If you guys want to join with that, you'll get $10 to shop. Vintage pinch whiskey bottle. Bought at a local thrift store called Valley Thrift for $4.99. Sold for $30. Didn't think it would sell too fast, but it sold within a week. There you have it. The next one, epoxy tooling manual polyurethanes. Polyurethanes. <laughs> Ren plastics, diagrams, charts, tables, and laminate. That's when you realize that you think you said the word right. You guys can let me know if I said it wrong. This one comes from Edge City Traders. She is on eBay, Etsy, and whatnot. She bought this at a thrifty shopper in Syracuse, New York for a dollar. It sold for asking price of 85 plus shipping. There you go. It's a manual. Do you guys walk past manuals or do you pick them up? And does this make you think, oh, maybe I should be looking at those manuals. The next one is a snap-on CJ86-1 bearing and gear puller set. And anything snap-on, you should probably look it up. Most of it's a bolo. Uh, snap-on combination puller sets. Bought this on an 
at an online estate sale and local pickup, it wasn't listed as Snap-on and the images didn't show the name or the brand. Ooh, thanks to Google Lens, I knew what it was. I guess no one else figured it out. Paid $17.92 and sold for $250. You know, I was just thinking, I don't see Snap-on on the box, but there you go. That's fabulous. Let's see right there. It's got it in the photo. You can see it. Snap on. It's legit. So they must not have had good uh, photos on the actual estate site. Bought this pink and pulley glass topper at a Southern Alabama estate sale for $3. Sold for $130 within four hours. I suppose I could have gotten more, but I was happy with that international sale and they paid right away. This is just the stopper. Um, I've talked about this before in another video because somebody had the complete, um, I don't even know what you call these, the complete bottle. And they sold the stopper separately and people were like, ah, because they separated it. But the stopper had more value. So uh, what do you guys think about separating the item? I think she just had the stopper in this situation. All right, this is a vintage 1987 Jezebel O Lantern Todd Masters Foam Pumpkin Orange Halloween 1980s. And we have talked about these before. They don't look like much, but they sell for a nice profit. Watched a YouTube video and saw one of these in it. Happened to find two the next day. Got it from a local thrift store for $2.99. Sold for $39.99 plus shipping. And this is Chelsea's um, Threads and Things. And it's five, eight, six vintage here. Sometimes the store name and the username is separate or different. Just depends. Sony M470 micro cassette voice recorder black. It looks like it's in the original packaging. Got this item from work while we were cleaning up for an office move. They didn't want it. So they gave it to me for free. I listed the item for $299.99 and within two to three days, got a best offer of $225. I gave him another offer of $274.99 and he took it. Right, the next one here is from Nina's Jewels. She is on YouTube and eBay as Nina's Jewels. This original oil painting was gifted to us to sell from one of our friends' clients. It was a commission piece from a New Orleans-based artist, sold on best offer for $639.98. Wowza, original oil painting, two dogs, golden retriever lab by Sarah Style, 1997. I'm not sure if I said that name correctly. I would not want to ship that. They, I don't know if they have a video on how to ship these things, but they sell a lot of art. Um, I would love to see how they do it. Here's another art piece they sold. It's a signed print, the Davila Brothers Bronc Riders, James Bama, COA. This item was free to us. It came from a storage unit we were cleaning out that has old stock from another business we own. This is a limited edition signed and numbered print by a painter named James Bama. We have sold several pieces by this artist and they can sell for quite a lot. His work is ultra realistic and looks like a photograph. This piece sold for $554.98 on offer. And again, this is Nina's Jewels. Give her a follow, you guys. This here is a hamburger fishing lure. Yes, that's what I said. Hamburger fishing lure. Sold for $150. I seen this cool looking little hamburger fishing lure at a small thrift store for $3. It said Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville on it. I thought it was unique as at something I could probably sell for 15 or 20 bucks. Well, when I looked it up, there was only one other listing on eBay with none sold in the last 90 days, and it was for 450. I used Terapeak and found one sold in 2022 for 150. I initially set up an auction with no bids, relisted at a buy it now of 250 and got an offer for 150 in two weeks. My eBay store is the Flippin' Family. Thanks for all you do, Courtney. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for sharing. What an interesting item. <laughs> Does that say I like fishing with lettuce and tomato and French fried potatoes, big kosher pickle and a cold draft beer? That's the lyrics to the song, right? The Jimmy Buffett song. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Okay, this is a beach ball. It's a giant vintage beach ball, inflated water toy globe map. Bought this beach ball at the Goodwill for $1.11, sold for $122 on auction. It was so exciting listening to those 27 chichings right before the auction ended. Thanks for all you do, Courtney. And this comes from Evelyn's Clothes and More. And yes, these big old beach balls. Isn't it crazy? Look, Oriental Trading Company. 
I've never seen that brand sell for so much. That is incredible. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's fantastic. I never would have guessed that one, you guys. See? You got to look it up. This in it, this one is a Dixon Flannel Company uh, Camimura. Ooh, I don't know if I said that right. Medium blacksmith flannel plaid shirt vintage. This one comes from Piece of Scrap. She is on YouTube and um, here on eBay as Piece of Scrap. Definitely give her a follow. She paid $3.75 at a Goodwill and sold within days for $83 on eBay. So yeah, how many of you would have walked past this? I don't know this brand at all, but I really don't do clothing anymore. I focus more on hard goods and I'm over on whatnot selling jewelry and other things. So if you guys want to follow me on whatnot, I'm Bolo Buddies over there. There is a link down below where you can join my whatnot with my referral link and get $15 to shop. I would love to see you guys at a show. Just come hang out. It's super fun. And again, head over to the Facebook group. The link is under my link tree and you can share your best April Bolo and be featured in a video just like this. And when you share your Bolo, be sure to shout out if you have a YouTube channel or your eBay store, whatever you want me to shout out in the video, put it in your post and that way you get a shout out. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.